they, we have received applications for uh, senior executive positions, uh, some for, uh, as for directors, some for consultants, some wants to be advisors. We received um, some really good ones, for example, like those that are in advanced manufacturing. When we've spoken to some of the companies that are big on manufacturing, either they don't have uh, uh, any space for such a person or they would have that job, but it's failed. And they are not skills that the country will need mm -hmm. at this immediate juncture. Perhaps later on, when the sectors are more advanced uh, they, and there are more opportunities created, it makes uh, no sense for us to go there and say, hey, come back here, there's lots of jobs available, mm -hmm. when the, the different sectors are still putting the groundwork in place for the receiving of more or of skilled labor. Mm -hmm. So, and, and you don't want to have a, what we call the mismatch of skills. What the unit has been doing in all of our engagements with agencies, and we've made it very clear to the diaspora, and we've made it very clear to agencies that we are looking for that level playing field. And it means that we're not asking for any special concessions mm -hmm. or uh, procedures or uh, for the diaspora. It has to be uh, the same playing field. So for example, if somebody's tendering an application, we do not expect and we're not advocating for an agency to pull that application mm -hmm. out of, for a member of the diaspora and advance it on, on top of the pile and leave the locals who would have sent in their application behind. 